So uh, the top part is dry. Yay! It doesn't uh, it doesn't do anything there. So that means I can go to the next area, which is way 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 cool. Um, I did have, like I said, I had some extra brushes uh, so that are a little bit thicker, just for adding water. You don't necessarily need them, but I need to get. The procedure was putting down a puddle, right? And then putting pigment in it. Well, this is a big area, so I wanted a little bit of an extra brush to, to do that uh, uh, with those. So that's kind of a thing. If, if you have one, you don't need it, but uh, sometimes, and then they're flats, they're rounds, that sort of stuff. So this is just water in there, and so I'm just going to put water in this area here. And that's pretty good. Now that I got it there, I'm going to go ahead and define the edge. Looks like it got a little bit of red in there. Uh, going like this with the tip of the brush. That's cool. Rotate it. Tip of the brush. And then here. Now, the idea is to get the whole area wet and sometimes things start to dry out a little bit. And that's okay. We'll just, we'll just re-energize that area. So this is just water. And I filled this whole area now with water. Let's go back in and get, I can utilize this brush still. Now this area has got to be a medium value, okay? And so I'm going to test it out in the top here, you know, uh, the top of my tray. It looks like that's probably going to be pretty good. And now I can just kind of add this in. And I can add more pigment as needed. And so this is, it has to be darker than the top. Now I could use my other brush too. If I wanted to. Okay, so that's darker. That's pretty cool, huh? Now I just need to get it spread throughout the whole puddle area because this is a, is, is a flat area. Maybe a little bit more pigment down here. And then I'm going to do this again. I'm going to rotate it across so I have my here. And then we're going to have it go all the way across. You can kind of see the pigment puddling down there, moving across there, making an area of even value. I think I want just a little more pigment in there too. And then stick out that edge just a little bit more and also along here on the bottom because it started to dry. Let's rotate it this way again. Remember, this is the mixing to make it to make it even on that one, just kind of like that. Then when it puddles here, I take it across the other way like that. So I'm making a flat wash. I'm going to rotate it this way a little bit. Trying to get all that to flow across here. And maybe go down this way. So that I'm making an area of even value uh, on that one, or at least fairly even. I might need a little more pigment. I might need a little more goop. Okay, so I'm going to put some right here. You can scrub a little with your brush too if you want on that. This is just some more water because I needed to move that across here. Once again, moving it around. Let the water move the paint for you on this one. That's kind of a cool thing. And then we'll get it to go across here. There's an area right here that has a little bit of a dry spot. So I'm just going to kind of tap that in there. Okay, so I think I think we got this going pretty good. It looks fairly even on our application. If we need a little bit more stuff, we can obviously add more. So this is very light. This is about a medium value, and then this is eventually going to be pretty dark on that, uh, that what we're looking for. And so that's an area area of fairly even value. I said I think. As this is starting to dry, I wanted to have it just a little bit darker here. Because I had a little bit of a light area. Now that this paint is not traveling as much, it's kind of staying where we want it. I can make that evened out a little bit more, which is kind of cool. Okay. That is the next step that we did. We have a flat, even wash. So we have a light wash. We have a medium wash. This is going to be a darker wash. This is going to be the darkest wash eventually on that. But that's it. So i got to let that dry. So 
So that that's cool. Let's let it dry.